Hey friends, uh, the source is back for the third time and we're gonna analyze the source regime and answer whether it's worth an exotic slot and whether you should buy from Zer. Okay. Now historically this weapon had uh, quite a reputation as the bane of PvP. At one point the Iron Banner was called the Source Banner for a reason. Now after 3 nerfs, Zer is selling this weapon for the third time and for most players who joined in at Christmas, this will be their first time with the source regime so do expect to see a lot of people using this gun for the next week or two. And I just wanted to uh, point out in the weapon card it says it's a nostalgia as a weapon of war. If you played since day one you will see the irony in this and I find it quite funny. Anyways that was the historical portion of this review and now let's go over the normal stats and perks. Uh, if you look at the stats it's got really good stats overall. This is one of the guns where the stats is part of the reason it's an exotic. Once you upgrade this you get max stability, max recoil direction which means you know, the gun shoots straight up no side by side recoil at all and it's got really slow fire rate which means even lower recoil, really high impact for an auto rifle and really high range for an auto rifle. For perks I recommend going uh, with smart drift control for easy mode and hammer forge to creep up beyond mid range. Uh, maybe in pvp uh, you know if you keep losing gunfights try out the high cover rounds in order to throw off the enemy's aim but in pve hammer forge is pretty much the way to go because you really need to keep the distance, uh, distance between you and your enemy. And there's some people who don't like the slow fire rate and there's some people who don't like going with focus fire but um, I always recommend going with focus fire for uh, several reasons. First of all, if you don't take focus fire, you will not be able to progress further into the tree which means no hammer forge and no exotic perk. If you don't spec in focus fire, you're left with um, Vanquisher 8 with a little bit better stats and you know that's not really exotic -y at all. And secondly, the focus fire actually surprisingly doesn't decrease your DPS much. Uh, in fact, the burst DPS decreases only from 2295 to 2244, which you know isn't really much at all. And the overall DPS um, increases with focus fire. And your in PvP, your time to kill only increases by 0.03 seconds, which is like nothing. Now for the exotic perk, what it does is rounds that hit your enemies have chance to randomly start to heal you. It's not just the bottom half of the magazine that has chance to heal you, it's like actually every shot you fire. From my personal experience, um, the chance of that is somewhere around, you know, 1 over 75, which is actually higher than you would think. The second part of the exotic perk is the glass half full, sort of, but stronger. The damage starts to creep up uh, after the first 20 rounds. On the last 10 rounds, the uh, damage really uh, ramp up fast. So you always wanna make sure you use the last 10 rounds. In PvE, this is a solid tickle gun. It's not powerful, but it has some utility. Health region is really nice when it procs because you don't need to kill to proc the uh, health region. But it really doesn't proc enough to be reliable. And the, the damage scale up at the end of the magazine is really significant. So try to use the last one or two round on a, some big enemy. And um, this gun is basically like a um, point and shoot water, water gun. You know, you hold down R2 or RT to slowly win. You know, it's easy as hell to use. It can kill tier 1 and tier 2 enemies comfortably, but even for tier 2 enemies, I recommend going uh, switching to a secondary weapon to strip the shield and then switching back to your serious regime to finish it off. The low DPS is the main drawback in PvE. So use Soros Regime mainly for mobbing and as soon as you run across with anything with shield or a yellow health bar you don't want to be using Soros Regime anymore because of the low DPS. I mean it is pretty good for the mobbing section of PvE. I noticed myself getting a lot of kills in rock strikes whenever I'm using Stroh's regime but for the most part I recommend using something else in PvE not because it's so terrible but because you know there are better weapons that often don't require exotic slots. For PvP it's an okay auto rifle actually um, it's good for flanking because of its uh, high range and high stability it's not good for 1v1 gunfights if you and the other guy start shooting at the same time you're gonna lose 100% of the time because the TTK is so high. It's uh, 1.09 seconds. To put that in perspective, Vexmith class has something around 0.65 seconds and most hand cannons kill within 0.8 seconds. 
most scout rifles kill within one second so that's pretty significant and not to mention the, the slow fire rate means you are penalized very heavily for missing your shot you know that's the bit of caveat there but it is really easy to use and it's got really great range so it's good for flanking also make sure you really make use of the last half of mag there are some people who waste the first half the mag and then just shoot with the second half the mag um, usually that requires one less shot to kill so if you want to be cheap <laughs> that's one way to go also this weapon is good for mid range you know it's not good for your close range or long range and I recommend picking up a good shotgun backup uh, to cover your close range encounters when you see many of the people using the sewers regime they usually have a uh, high impact shotgun such as the fell into lie or secret handshake now a lot of people are going to be using this weapon pvp for the next two weeks and I, I'm going to give give you some tips against sewers regime how to go against Sewers Regime and win every time. And the tip is actually fairly simple. Use any scouts or hand cannons. That's it. Uh, the scouts and hand cannons um, out DPS and outclass the Sewers Regime in every single range possible. It's not the fault with Sewers Regime. It is the best auto rifle in the game, but it's just the fault with these auto rifles in general. You know, uh, they do so little DPS and uh, scouts and hand cannons beat them out in every range. If I were to give you some recommendations for scouts, I would recommend minor multi tool if you like to, if you actually like using the source regime, because it fires similar, sort of similar to the source regime. It's got really high range, high stability, but it's actually got some really good impact. And Vision Confluence is a good legendary um, scout rifle. In my opinion, it's a better all rifle than uh, source regime. And for hand cannons, really anything will work. But um, you know some of the stronger ones such as Thorn, Hawkmoon, or the Crota. Basically, try to go for any hand cannon with a uh, sended, you know, high range. Now, is it worth the exotic slot? The Soros regime is very fun, uh, but I probably guess not. In PvP, if you want the best auto rifle and if you want to have an easy time using the gun, it is definitely worth the exotic slot. If you like flanking people, it is definitely worth the exotic slot. It's an assist machine though, and it's better for a support role. Uh, don't try to get too aggressive with the source regime. In PvE, it's worth the exotic slot only if you value the source more than any any other exotics such as Thorn, Red Death, Icebreaker, Invective, Yalahorn, and Thunderlord. And you know, the answer to that is probably not. Is it worth buying this from Zer? Hell yes. Please buy it, so you don't regret it later. Don't say I didn't warn you. You know, even if you don't like this gun, there's a high chance that this weapon is gonna be rebalanced with other other rifles. So yeah, do buy it. It's definitely worth the 23 strange coins. Um, even at the state, it's it's pretty good. It just you know not as good as it used to be. If I were to sum up this weapon in one sentence, it would be not too bad, but not good. Now, if Sewer's regime sounds like a weapon for you. Go out there and wreck some ass with it whether it's yours or theirs.